Hi and welcome to this wood veneer ornament tutorial. Today I will be using the Holly Concert Stamp by Penny Black, Love and Joy die set, some all-purpose inks, some Versa Magic inks, some Golden Glitz ink, Versa Fine ink, Goosebumps and Ink Potion number no. 9 and Spellbinders 2010 Heirloom Ornaments and some sticks to double-sided adhesive. First of all, take a piece of wood veneer and the Spellbinders die. You'll need to cut a piece of adhesive to fit and mount on the back. This will stop it from splitting and cracking when you put it through the die cutting machine. Cut two of these out and also one out of card. Next take the stamp and partially ink it with vintage sepia ink. Stamp onto the ornament and then ink again parts of the holly leaves and stamp around the rest of the ornament until you're happy with the design as you can see here. Next take some poppy red all-purpose ink and colour in the little berries. I've speeded this up so you don't have to see me colour them all. Once you've coloured them all in, let them dry and then use some Brilliance Pearlescent Poppy to add some shadow to the bottom of the berries. I've used a Fantastics to help me do this. Here you can see all the shadows added. Next I add some Copic White to add a little bit of highlight and add a bit more dimension to the berries again. As you can see here. Next take some Ink Potion number no. 9 and spray it into a mixing palette and then add some Emerald All Purpose Ink. Mix it together with the ink potion number 9. I want to change the colour a little so I'm adding some Versamark hint of pe pesto, sorry Versa Magic. And then colouring in the leaves. Again I've speeded this up a little bit and we'll show you the finished leaves all coloured in. Next I go back in with the emerald all purpose ink into the centres just to add a darker shadow and then with the Copic White to add highlight, as you can see here. Then I take Versa Magic Sahara Sand, Fantastics, and colour in the birds' bodies. Next I take Hint of Pesto and add a little bit more shading. I then use Turquoise Gem and Oasis Green. Again both Versa Magic inks to finish colouring in the birds. And then I use Lemon Yellow in the All Purpose Ink for their beaks. I then take a fine liner pen and colour in the eyes and highlight some of the other areas. Then take Copic Marker B004 and colour in the background. You can leave this as wood if you wish. Next use the shimmer spray. Make sure you shake it well and then spray over the whole of the ornament. You can see the shimmer here in the light. Then go round the whole of the edge with the Delicata Golden Glitz ink using an ink blusher. This frames the edge of the ornament. I then put some goosebumps onto my craft mat and I paint it onto the berries and the holly leaves just to add a little bit of shimmer as you can see here. I then take the golden glitz again and my blusher and go around the edge of the other ornamental piece. 
I take some more wood veneer in a darker shade. I add some adhesive to the back to stop it from cracking and splitting when I die cut it. And then I take the merry sentiment from the die and cut it out. These are now ready to put together, so I take a tassel, peel off the backing and add it to one side of the ornament. I also create a loop at the other end for hanging. I then place my paper piece over the top. This will give it added strength. As you can see here, and then the other side. This completes the ornament. It's now ready to hang on your tree. Thank you for watching. For further inspiration, please visit my blog at candronicucardcraft.blogspot.co.uk.